Hi, my name is Tony and by the end of this video you will know how to use those leather scraps lying around your workshop in a box somewhere too small to use, too big to throw away you're gonna use those and make a bottle wine holder just like this one or this one Besides the leather, you will also need four sun brown buttons and uh, two D-rings and of course the pattern. Links uh, down in the video description. Talking about the pattern, I use my extensive wine collection and a bit and a bit of internet research to find the circumference of most wine bottles and i made these templates in three different sizes so before you start working grab a soft tape measure the circumference of the bottle and then pick the correct size don't forget there are two different designs as well so you know another choice you need to make unless unless you can't decide and you will end up with one of these all right both designs combined anyway enough of that let's just start working already and uh, printing the pattern correctly is the first step the second or the third page will have a test square just like this one make sure the sizes are correct or your bottle may not fit i recommend using adobe reader to open and print the pattern and then select actual size in the printer settings this always works for me no matter i use a4 letter or legal size paper next i'm going to show you how to build this particular design but if you like this one better the process is pretty much the same stay with me and i'll point out the differences as we go along after you print the pattern pick the size and the design you like use those pages to cut all the leather pieces we need I used six ounces leather for the main body and the handle and four ounces leather for these details here and the edge cover at the top here chrome tan vegetable tan whatever you have will work get some paper masking tape from the hardware store and use it to hold the patterns on top of the leather while we're gonna punch the stitching holes Quick tip for you, get a cheap candle, remove the wick and the metal parts if it has any, and then rub the wax along the stitching line. This will make the next step much easier. I will use a combination of 1.5 millimeters round holes and a one millimeter thread. It's always a good idea to experiment with different whole thread combinations to find out what you like best for whatever project you're working on, this included. Next, use your tool of choice and carefully cut all the leather pieces out of the leather. At this stage, it's a good idea to 
finish your edges either by burnishing or painting with the edge paint like I'm doing here. Now, this basket weave, very, very easy to do. Just make sure you use thin leather to make these straps here this this is super important otherwise otherwise you're gonna struggle and nobody nobody likes to struggle all you need to do is attach them at one end along this line and don't worry about the weave till you get to the very last line here all right so go like that and when you get here stop let me show you Okay, now we can do the basket weave and then stitch the ends here at the very last line. Very easy.
the results are pretty nice and you will also get that nice leather squeak. Listen. The sound of leather. I love it. Great. Next, let's stitch the D-ring holders in place. These guys right here. If you like the other design better, this one here, putting this piece together is a bit easier because all you need to do is attach these details here. Anyways, no matter the design you're making, the next part of the build will be the same. Connect the two halves with a cross stitch along the edge right here. Very good. Now, before you do the other cross stitch, let's attach this sun brown holder next. Let me show you. That's pretty nice. 
let us use the other cross stitch to close the other two hands here, all right? And then attach the second strap and stud holder. Next, we can add some edge detail here using one of the two long strips in the pattern. Now, this one is the longer of the two and it doesn't have the holes in the middle right here. The sleeve is ready, but it ain't got no button, all right? Grab the other strip we were talking about earlier and the round piece of leather, and let's take care of it. We start by connecting the strip at its ends with a quick cross stitch. Then carefully watch my hands and position the two pieces exactly like I do. First side on the outside and then do a saddle stitch all around here. At the end, you should be looking at something like this. Next part, it's much easier. Fit the bottom inside the sleeve and then stitch it in place all around here. And then maybe sand the edges to be all nice and even, all right? Bevel the edges and apply a couple of coats of edge paint. This type of construction of the bottom will offer more protection to your nice expensive bottle of wine. Even if you slam this on the table, there will still be enough space here to keep the bottle away from any hard surface. So you can do that. See, the bottle is fine. This is a metal surface right here because of that. Be smart, think about it. Moving on, the top, this guy here, is pretty easy to put together, nothing to worry about. It is adjustable, so it will work with taller or shorter bottles.
last thing we need is a carrying handle and for this of course if you want you can use a regular shoulder strap in fact if you go now to leather-patterns.com slash free stuff i have a strap pattern available there for you to use uh, with this wine bottle carrier or any of your bags all right or you can just make a simple one just like this one adjusting of course the length to your liking Our build is over. We have made these amazing looking wine holders and we are off to a picnic knowing the wine will travel in style and be safe. Remember, links to the patterns are available down in the video description. I thank you all for watching and for liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I'm working on even more tutorials like these and um, you need to know when they come out. That's, that's what that little bell button is there for. Peace. I'm out.